In this video, I am going to show you some advanced editing using the canvas editor in Leonardo.ai. If you are not familiar with Leonardo.ai, I have covered everything related to it. A complete guide how to download it, a dedicated video. If you want to watch any of these videos, go to the description down below. In this video, we are going to focus on character and object placement in different images using the canvas editor. So let's get into the video. For the first scene, I have selected this image and I want to place this character into the image that I have just selected. Now the first thing we are going to do is remove this background. To remove the background, go to Adobe Background Remover. It is a free application that helps you remove background and many more things but in this video particularly we are going to just remove the background. So just click on the background remover and just upload the character image into this free software. And within seconds, it's just going to remove the background. The background is removed successfully. Now we just need to download the image. Once the image is downloaded, go back to the canvas editor and you can upload that same image from this section right here from a computer downloads and then import this particular image that you remove the background of. Let's decrease the size of the image in order to fit it in the bounding box of the canvas editor so just drag and just drag the image in order to decrease the size so now the next step is to extend the image in order to place this character into the image so we're going to write add add similar atmosphere then we are going to click on generate the previous prompt didn't work for some reason so I changed the prompt generate dark atmosphere destruction gray look and I generated both the parts of this image. Click on accept to finalize the image and then now we are going to place this character into the image. So drag and drop the character onto the image and if you notice the one thing that is missing is shadows into the image. So we are going to generate some shadows. So go to the mask section right here. Just drag this cursor and just draw a bit of mask around the shoes of the character. And then we are going to write add shadows. And then we are going to click on generate. So we have four options. Now if you notice it changed the structure of the shoe but it worked. It blended in the image uh, from this part and the upper part was automatically blended in. Now let's try placing some other character into the same image. So let's undo this image. To undo all your edits just click on this undo arrow right here and the image will automatically go back to where it was. So let's delete this character and let's find an image to place into the scene. So I went back to the community feed and I'm going to select one or two images and going to mess around with both the images simultaneously. So let's see what we're going to do. I'm going to select this image, I'm going to download it. And we need to select one more image. The second image I'm trying to add into the scene is already saved in my PC. So I'm going to try to do this one. Let's remove both the backgrounds. Let's remove the backgrounds of both the images. You need to follow the same steps in order to remove the background. Go to this background remover and select your images in order to remove the background and just download the image from right here. After downloading that background removed image go back to AI canvas. Now come back to the canvas editor and make sure to save all these edited images. The expanded image was saved in my PC 
so just click on download artwork and you can save your extended image into the pc so that when you come back to canvas editor you can import it into the canvas editor once again in order to edit it further so now i'm going to import my image that i removed the background of same thing again just decrease the size of the image and I want to place this image into the scene so I'm going to do something like this in order to place the image into the scene and then I'm going to just leave it the way it is and it's looking pretty good the most important thing is your image selection which object or character you want to place in a particular image because the colors matter a lot now let's bring in one more image I want to blend in this image into the scene somehow so let's see what we can do with this character right here Let's keep this image on the side for the time being and let's expand this particular image some more so that we can play around with it. So just drag it right here and then generate atmosphere and then click on generate. Your prompt is not going to work every time. You need to add in some keywords in order to get the exact image generation. So I got this image finally and I'm going to click on accept. If you want some other image we can also click on generate again in order to check out what images get produced what images we get and these are the images that I finally got so I'm going to select this one and click on accept similarly I'm going to generate this part of the image and this is the result so I'm going to click on accept and after generating and filling all the space that was left and just uh, uh, cleaning up this part uh, we came out with this image honestly speaking the left side of the image is not looking that good but the right side is blended in pretty well even the lights and all are a bit accurate so let's move on to the next image the next image I've selected is this one so the first step is to remove this character from the image so I'm going to draw I'm going to drag this bounding box onto the character and then I'm going to draw a mask on the whole character so after masking out the image I wrote replace with a black and white statue of a man with a hat and then this is something that we got and I'm going to click on accept and going to draw, drag it and then click on generate again and the final part of the image also got generated the pillar so the only way to add assets is not just to drag and drop things or just to remove the background and drop things into the image you can also mask a particular object or a character in the image and then and write the prompt in such a way that the character or the object gets replaced in such a way that it is not recognizable that there was something ever present in the image other than this so click on accept and this is what the image looks like now so for the next edit I've chosen this image and let's try to replace this car so to replace the car just bring the bounding box onto the car draw a mask on this car sometimes the edits are pretty easy and we make it complicated ourselves it's pretty straightforward but sometimes you need to see someone else do it in order to actually achieve some results so just let's write replace with a BMW M3 and let's see what it generates 
and this is the first image that was generated it's not that high quality but it's not looking that bad also let's see the other options so we have all these options now one thing i'm going to do in order to improve the quality of this image is that when you remix this image when you pick it and bring it in this ai canvas before that you need to copy the whole prompt of this image so i copied the prompt of the image and after that i just need to replace the name of the initial car with my own car so i'm just going to delete this nissan 350z and i'll click on generate and these are the results that we got this time and they look better than the previous results they even have more reflection of the light on the car so this is one trick you can use you can copy the whole prompt and paste it into this section if you don't get your desired result by putting your own prompt and i think this one is looking good so i'm going to click on accept i also expanded the whole scene using the same generation generate similar road and tunnel generate similar road tunnel except if you like the video subscribe to the channel i'll see you in my next video with some more ai related content